Hi guys, welcome back to another video on how to install the DBS IT Elite Long Range Antenna for DJI Phantom 3 standard. Um, I paid $119 with shipping included from DBS uh, website. As you can see, they thanked me for their purchase and um, along with it, you'll find their business card just in case you need to get in contact for any reason. Um, you have their phone number, their website, and, and so on. So in the box, um, you'll see the antenna. Um, there's a warning sticker where it says not to turn on the antenna um, before everything is connected. So make sure you install everything and only then and only then you turn on the remote. Otherwise, you can damage the remote and there's no coming back from it. Um, as you can see, there's a bracket inside, there's some wing nuts to connect the bracket to the uh, antenna, and then there's some cables that connect to the remote. The antenna is very light, it has three ports, uh, main antenna and then port two and three, they're for Wi-Fi, um, really a nice design and, and lightweight. The uh, reason why I like this bracket so much is because you don't have to screw it to the remote. Um, it snaps on and off, just by pulling on the spring uh, levers, which is great and easy for um, fast storing and traveling. But by the way, if you want to know um, how I installed or how I modified that support, uh, make sure you check the option, the link in the description box. Um, as you can see, you got to take off the uh, four screws in the back and then uh, pry it open from the bottom, disconnect the three cables, and then you can open the remote. Um, Right now we're gonna focus on the top remote because we gotta um, take apart those um, three cables, one from the main antenna and then the other two from the um, uh, Wi-Fi antennas, left and right. So what I'm trying to do is actually cut the uh, silicon glue that holds in place the connection. And I'm trying to go as close as possible to the aluminum shield and just cut the uh, silicone and also trying to pry it gently and then um, if I see that it doesn't want to come out I cut a little bit more and um, eventually it'll come out and um, you'll see it in a second that um, it, it just takes a few tries but um, it'll come out um, easy and then um, I'll do the same thing with the uh, the top one and the uh, bottom one. So right here, I'm just cleaning around the connection, um, just trying to take as much silicone out as I as I can from the uh, previous uh, uh, glue up. So I'll do the same thing to the other ones as I said before, and it's it's the same process for the top and the uh, uh, the bottom one. Make sure that you know um, the top. Uh, the top connection is for the uh, right Wi-Fi and the um, the left connection the, the the middle connection is from the left Wi-Fi and then the bottom is the main antenna um, when you're gonna install the uh, DBS antenna make sure that you remember that and you put them correctly um, after you've taken all the cables just uh, push on those two clasps uh, from the antenna and they'll come out and right now there's no reason for me to leave the Wi-Fi um, antennas in there because I'm not going to use them anymore so I decided to take them apart it's really easy to take them apart just pull on them and they'll come out uh, now we're going to focus on the bottom part because I want to put my um, connections on the bottom I've seen it before other people have done it on the top but I, I decided to put on the bottom. I think it's aesthetically more pleasing than, than having them on the top. So I'm drilling just um, three pilot holes right here with a small drill bit, um, just so I can have um, a reference for um, when drilling the bigger holes. Um, I didn't measure anything. I just um, kind of eyeball them. Um, where to drill the holes and that's where I make the marks. I'm um, 
taking the nut and I'm trying to see what drill size bit um, it'll need. So uh, over here I'm going with 730 seconds. It's a little bit smaller than, than what I needed, but uh, eventually I'll go with the um, uh, 1 8 drill bit or um, 1 4 drill bit. So I'm just drilling the holes, making them a little bit bigger, and then eventually um, I'll realize that I have to go with the, the bigger one. So over here I'm going with the, the bigger drill, and um, I'm making the, the drills larger, and uh, they're just perfect size for the um, antenna connection. You just put it through and then um, secure it with the nut, and I'll do the same thing for um, for the other two. It's real, really simple. Just uh, just get it snug in there, and uh, uh, later I'm gonna use a plier to uh, secure it better. And as I said, do the same thing for the other two. Once they're done, um, we're gonna secure them better with the plier, and just just get them snug. You don't want to break the uh, plastic. The way I want to set them up is the left one to be the main port. So if you remember, when we unplugged the connections, the bottom one was for the main antenna. So um, that's how I'm going to do it. Left is on the uh, on the DBS um, antenna. The left one, port number one, is the main antenna. That's why I want to have it to the left. And then the middle one, it'll be the left Wi-Fi antenna. And then the right one will be the right Wi-Fi antenna. And that's how I'm actually connecting them. It's really easy to connect them. Just make sure that the connector is snapped in place and that they are secure. After that, I hot glue them in place, uh, making sure that they won't come loose. And I've done that to all three of them, putting plenty of uh, hot glue, uh, making sure that um, they'll never come off by themselves. And I've also had glued them in place to one of the plastic tabs in the middle of the remote. And now before I put the remote together, um, I decided to actually take the S2 switch out and then put the antenna cables under the S2 um, cable so they'll never interfere with the middle of the remote where the um, uh, tablet holder pin is, uh, is coming in when I um, Put the holder so um, having that um, having the um, the cables under the S2 switches will hold them um, always to the right side of the remote and uh, it won't interfere with the holder pin now putting the remote together and making sure that I connect the uh, three cables the gimbal cable right now then the um, um, charging cable and then the battery cable. Once all three cables are secure, um, I'm ready to put the uh, screws back together to the back of the remote. And um, once everything is secure and everything moves freely and it's it seems uh, all right, um, Make sure you don't turn on the remote by mistake. Turn the remote on only when the your antenna is uh, secured and connected. So after you have all cables connected, um, what you have to do is actually take the support out and connect it to the antenna first with those uh, two wing nuts provided, as I'm doing right now. And um, only after that, connect it to the remote and then connect all three cables. My, my cables in the back, uh, the way they're connected are exactly the same way as the um, DBS antenna uh, has its connections. The left one is the main one, port number one, and then the middle one is the um, left Wi-Fi and the uh, right one is the right Wi-Fi. So it's easy to connect them. 
um, and really easy to take them apart in case you want to uh, put the remote um, in a backpack or um, you travel. Um, for example, I have a DJI backpack and the remote won't fit in with the uh, tablet support nor will it fit with the uh, antenna support. So um, having this antenna and with this bracket makes it so easy for me to take it on and off just by snapping the support off and then disconnecting the three cables from the bottom of the remote. Um, and along with um, taking the uh, holder off and then I can put the remote in the in the backpack and this way it's easy for me to connect it back and then um, store it and travel with it and everything is connected everything seems fine I'm really happy with those uh, 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 snap-ons, with that snap-on support. And as I said, you just have to disconnect the three cables, uh, take the support off, and then the remote is, is ready to be packed in the DJI backpack or whatever else you're using as a traveling case. Now it's time to um, actually turn on the remote and, and see if it works. And that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and it looks like everything is working fine. And that's it for the install. Uh, thank you very much guys for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and maybe subscribe. Thank you very much.